by 2030, year 2030, we will require two planets worth of natural resources and resources. So this cannot be sustained. So why is the why are these happening now? Because you know when you tell a growing child, when we are kids, our parents say what is good and what is bad. If you do this, if you do your studies, you get a get to live live a good decent life. And when you're in your youth, in your twenties, if you have not uh, listened to your parents or listened to your uh, adults or if you have not done your background work, you started realizing the errors that you have made. So, the there have been errors made on Earth. People did not want to listen to the climate discussions or the campaigns that were run twenty years ago. Today, climate change is no longer just a discussion whether it is happening or not. If you look at even the business corporate industry sectors, climate change and sustainability is becoming one of the greatest subjects uh, in the corporate world as well, yeah, and that no. is that is what they are calling. Let's move into a green economy. So I I just wanted to also talk about the corporates and the environmental issue. But before that, I wanted to ask you now, as you said, this is an issue that the environmentalist has been talking for such a long time, and there has been so many conferences on the global scale and the global level from uh, many world sustainable summits, from uh, Johannesburg to all that. But why is it that continuously that these negotiations fail? And if you take the United Nations, do you think that United Nations is a body where this dialogue for environment should happen? Is it the ideal forum? And if that is the case, why is there a continuous failure that we see when it comes to environment discussions? Uh, look, the book is a highly critical of the existing multilateral negotiations framework, which is managed and led by the United Nations organization. And in the book, you will find two chapters. Which the first one chapter I call uh, "Talking Sustainability," uh, which I think sustainability talks have failed continuously on Earth. I will come to explain that. Second is that I talk about a ride uh, on a uh, dismantled train. Now let me explain that. I was the Asian representative to the 1992 Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro. Then it was the largest ever summit on Earth, people's gathering on Earth. And while the United Nations organization was convening the governments into what was called the Bella Center, we from the independent sectors convened over 20,000 people from civil society organizations, women's groups, environmental groups, social justice groups, farmer groups and so on. Basically, what we were trying to tell the official process was that this whole discussion is handled in a wrong manner. Now, in Rio, what happened was this. In Rio, they came up with what was called the Agenda 21, an agenda for the 21st century. Plus, they found three conventions, a biodiversity convention, a forest convention, and finally, third one was a climate change convention. Now. By the time the Rio Convention, Rio Conference was over, the Earth Summit was over in 1992 May, the single discussion on sustainability or environment in a holistic manner how to, was departmentalized and they created a biodiversity section, a forest section, a climate section and it was like and once finding the engine and the different compartments of the train, they broke the engine and kept it in one side. Now, Mr. Disus, it's very important. It's a yes. very interesting point we've come to. But unfortunately, we have to go for a small time check and a break. So we'll be back with you soon. And then we'll talk about the train. Stay with us. Amme, Pute, Matad Bad Kata Kavanad, Ather Atakatani Villa in the Mata, Gedrevena Punchi Punchi Death, Goda Kwedagatami. Mobitel IDD, 
punchi punchi vedagat de kiyanna amman tota kalambu is being built or who is being at one time in your life you entered the politics i want to know more about drama i was a very very keen theater uh, goer how do you see him as a human being this is one man who has first class people skills what's the kind of impact that you can create by your own creations if we don't perform that then he gets angry uh, how did you raise your voice i have worked for many people that in the last 40 years life expectancy has doubled what will happen in the next four decades visit medicare 2010 do you know the places that you can get preventive solutions to diabetes in this country are you born without hearing to hear with our ear visit medicare 2010 why should you preserve your cord blood visit medicare 2010 national health care exhibition medicare 2010 5th to 7th march at the bmi ch 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. organized by the Department of Health Western Province in association with the Ministry of Health Smart recharge bonanza from Mobitel dial hash #151 hash to enter Welcome back. You're watching Roundtable, and we are speaking to Mr. Uchita Dezoisa. He's the chairman of the Global Sustainability Solutions Movement. So we started the discussion defining what a climate challenge is, and then how serious the climate challenge is. And then we also talked about and touched on the right to development, the debate that is sort of very closely connected with the climate change and climate challenge concepts. And he also said that how important it is to look at climate challenge and the threat it poses. not in isolation but as part and parcel of the whole process of hunger poverty eradicating poverty and the west and the east and the unequal distribution of the resources and in that context we were in a crucial point talking about the role of the united nations and also multilateral forums and my question to him was why continuously united nations and other multilateral forum has failed in the debate of environment and then to that mr dizoiza you were giving a very comprehensive answer and also a metaphor use was the train so basically continuing from there mr dizoisa uh, just to start uh, from where i uh, stopped and giving a background as i said uh, sustainability was a destination that was found in 1992 at the rio earth summit now that that was a 20 year ride up to then from the 1972 stockholm conference uh, which uh, resulted in Uh, defining uh, what sustainable development is by Gr the Brundtland Commission report. Now, this this uh, what this uh, idiom or this story that was first uh, incidentally narrated by me uh, to my good friend who is now head of the sustainable development division in the United Nations in New York when we met in uh, Copenhagen uh, uh, in a run up to uh, the summit in December, but that was in March last year. Now, what I was saying is that you know, if the train, if this journey was to reach, take us towards sustainability, and we found the destination, the next matter was to find how to get to there, the map or the route. Now, finding the route. or the route was basically or the journey was called the agenda 21 or a agenda for the 21st century it had laid out a very nice uh, map or a blueprint to get to sustainability and what they did was they assembled an engine and a train and we were asked to get into different compartments and once we were uh, one, once we were boarded the train they dismantled the train kept the engine in one part left the different compartments in other parts and ask us to go 
towards sustainability. Now, it is like poverty is in one 